All right, guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to cover our tip 67. I'm going to show you how to create this cool visualization that includes a bunch of radar plots. And it is the types of data professionals plot asking you, which are you? It's a viral image that I've been posting and I've been getting a lot of feedback on. So I figured I'd show you how to make this. And the great thing is, is that you can use this type of visualization for almost anything with any numeric features that you want to compare so it could be like different types of you know people so like a financial analyst versus a quant uh, uh, analyst versus a, a quant dev or something like that if you're in the financial space or if you want to actually like look at stocks you know different mutual funds that have different performance metrics sharp values and all sorts of things you can use this type of visualization for that so we're going to cover how to make this um, it's really cool it's actually not that much code too so stick around um, to the end and I'm going to show you exactly how to make this custom visualization. Uh, first thing though, this is part of the R tips newsletter. If you haven't done so, make sure you sign up here. Link is in the video notes. You get access to all of this code and we got a ton. We're on R tip 67, but we have 66 other R tips. Uh, I'm going to be working out of this folder. So make sure you do a git pool. Um, it'll give you the data set that we're going to use. It's this XLSX file. Um, I better show that to you so you can see what the incoming data set looks like. All right, and here's what the incoming data set looks like. And you can see we've got types of data professionals. We've got four different types here, and we've got some numeric values that we've got uh, in a bunch of different columns in here. So we're going to read this Excel file in, and we're going to convert this into the radar, the radar charts that we sh I just showed you. Okay, so I'm working out of this .r file. I have it opened over here. Um, and again, in the plots pane, this is what we're going to try and build today. So uh, to get things started, we're first going to load in what's called the tidyverse. Um, so let me minimize this for a second. Uh, we're going to load in the tidyverse and read Excel. And actually this, um, this whole, uh, code base depends only on the tidyverse and read Excel. So there's no like special packages that I'm using today. Um, so this is the data set. I've just uh, loaded it in from this Excel file right here. Boom. And it's now down in here. Okay. All right. First thing we need to do uh, before we create this, we need to prepare the data and I need to get it into what's called the tidy format. So right now it's in a wide format. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rename this first column to uh, something called type. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pivot everything longer. Um, uh, so I'm going to pivot all of these columns here. Um, the column names now go into the uh, a row or a, a column called name and they're now each rows. So you can see like this value eight, 10, 5, so you got 8, uh, 10, 10, and actually, no, this so it's 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, 10. So you can see the, the name and the value just kind of pivots those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these from ca uh, character to factors. So that way it maintains the order when I visualize them in my plots. Okay. So now that these are factors, I'm ready to go. And that's all we need to do. Uh, I saved that as data prep tibble. We're ready to move on and make the basic radar plot. All right, so in the next section, I'm going to open up my outline here. We're in section part two of four, and we're going to go through and make the basic radar plot. There is a trick, though. We're going to use this thing called Chord Radar. I'm not going to go through what this function does. Honestly, um, it's a little complicated even for me, uh, but I just run this, and what this is going to do is it's going to save in my environment this Chord Radar function, um, and I'm going to show you what that does down here. So we're going to make our basic radar plot. We're going to start with our data prep tibble, just our, uh, our, our tidy data frame. And we're first going to instantiate a ggplot object. Okay. And this puts, this is, it would be like if I'm making like a column plot or a point plot, um, you can see ML ops data, uh, pipeline data prep, and then you got the values and, um, it looks like it only goes to a value of two. That must be the lowest value in the data set and the highest value in the data set is 10. And, he, and these are all the rankings for the, the different types of people. Um, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing called a geom polygon. All right. And what this does, and it looks really weird, um, but that's because we've got four different types of roles, data engineer, ML engineer, data scientist, and they get ranked on each different one. Um, but instead of a line, so if we did like a, a geom line, let me try this geom line. So the line would kind of connect all of these up and it's kind of tough to see, but these are, uh, it's because they're pretty light because the alpha is really low on these, but, um, it, you know, the, the, the polygon actually makes a polygon out of these. All right. So when we use the polygon, 
that's what gives us this fill value. All right. And that fill is going to be very important once we convert this to a radar plot down below. Um, we're also going to add some points. So that's what this does. We're going to add a few points on here. And then um, what I'm going to do is, and this is a little trick. So we're going to add some breaks and we're going to add some limits because the limits go from two to 10 um, in my radar plot. What I want to do is I want to include actually below 10 um, or below zero and a, a little bit above. And that's going to help me. Um, I'll, I'll explain why, what this does um, when you kind of convert this into a circular plot, but it gives a little space at the bottom and a little space at the top. Um, and that's just a little hack. All right. So normally what people do is they, then they try and do this thing called a cord polar. All right. So let me try that. I'll show you what the problem is with that. So I'm going to do cord polar and, um, it looks like these blobs here. It kind of gives like a circular line connection. So the trick is when we do this cord radar, when we use this function here, we just swap out and I do cord radar. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to make all these lines. So this is the radar plot. Now these are all stacked on top of each other. So we're going to do this facet type. Um, and when I do that, it breaks it out into the four different facets. Bada bing, bada boom. We got our basic radar ch charts. That's simple guys. Um, we now have a basic radar plot. Um, and then down here in section three, what we're going to do is we're going to dress it up. So I want to, I want to make this thing really pop. Um, so this, this image here, you know, if I put this in a report or something, or I put this on the internet, people are just going to be confused by it. It's got this gray background. It's got like these values over here. It doesn't really look that great. So we want to dress this thing up and we're going to make this image go viral. All right, so we're, I'm going to take my basic radar plot and first I'm going to use this thing called theme minimal. And what that does is it gets rid of the gray and you can see it's starting to look a lot better already. Now, some problems here. We've got some overlapping. We don't, we need a title. We need a subtitle. We need to make these, you know, the, the text here pop a little bit. We need to get rid of some of this stuff here and we need to get, you know, rid of this too. So we're going to do that. Um, first thing, we're going to change the color palettes. So we're going to change the fill, which is going to change here. And we're going to change these dot colors uh, using the color. So fill and color, we're going to change, do that, control enter. And you can see now we've got some better colors. Okay. Then we're going to add some labels. So types of data pro professionals, which are you doesn't really look that good yet though. Uh, but we're getting rid of some of the unnecessary stuff like the legend title, the, the X title, the Y title, just don't need that. All right. So here's where the magic happens guys. Down here, we've got this theme element where we can really do some intense customizations. Um, and I'll talk about what each of these do. So first, we're going to change the plot title and we're going to adjust the, we're going to uh, center this using H just 0 0.5, which is going to center the, um, the, the text. Uh, we're going to use a margin. We're going to add a, five pixels to the top, 20 pixels to the bottom. Uh, we're going to change the size to 28. Uh, make it bold and change it to a serif font. So when I just do this, let me just uh, control shift, see this real quick, run this, show you what happens. Boom. Types of data professionals. And it's all centered up. Okay. So you can see that it's centered right over here. Still a lot more stuff we do. We got to do the same thing essentially to the, which are you? So what I'm going to do right here next is uncomment that and we're going to make it Dodger blue to really make it stand out. And then uh, the H just, so we're going to center it. We're going to add top margin zero, but bottom margin 20. So I want to space it out here and I'm going to give it a size 20 font face bold. Okay. Control enter. And you can see which are you. Uh, next thing, th there's this thing called the strip text. So when you do facets, this is this part right up here above each facet is called a strip. And what we're going to do is we're going to change that size to 18, make it bold, uh, make it pop out a little bit, give it a top and bottom margin of five pixels, control enter, bada bing, bada boom, data engineer, ML engineer, data scientist, data analyst. And now we can easily start to see, oh, okay, each one of these facets corresponds to these types of data scientists. All right, then we're going to get rid of this legend. So control shift C, that's the next one. Bam, legend gone. Uh, next, we're going to do element text dot y uh, blank and element text x uh, we're going to uh, v just it so that what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of these here and it's going to um, adjust the text out here a little bit so control enter and bam we've now just made the text a little smaller and um, now things are it's a little bit easier to, to read this thing um, and then the last thing here so we're going to i see that these panels are like almost on top of each other 
So we're going to adjust the panel spacing, space these panels out a little bit. And then um, this is a little hack here. All right. So something I don't like about, and there's a lot of discussion actually on online and Stack Overflow and GitHub, um, and GitHub uh, about Cord Puller adds this line out here. So I wanted to get rid of it because this line doesn't mean anything. The max line is actually the second line here. So I want to get rid of that. And there's a little hack to do that. So what I'm going to do here is uh, adjust the panel grid minor, get rid of those, um, create, turn, convert them to black blanks, and do panel grid major and give them a, a color of this color here. It's the same color, but we're going to do repeat it five times and get rid of and then NA for the last one. Why NA for the last one? Because what how um, Cord Polar works and, and Cord Radar, because it, um, it basically extends Cord Polar, is uh, each one of these lines you can color. You can actually provide a distinct color to it. So it's gonna, the first, um, so we're gonna repeat the same color five times, this gray, and then the sixth one, we're gonna give NA. So there is no color for this last one. And, and when you do that, control enter, it gets rid of that last ring. All right. So now we can clearly see what defines a data engineer, what defines an ML engineer, what defines a data scientist and a data analyst. And now you have just mastered radar plots and you can utilize these to make your own viral images. All right. Um, if you want to learn more, if you want to become a data science expert for your organization, if you really want to extend your skills beyond where you're at now, um, I want to help you do that. And to do so, I have a free workshop that uh, I have a link right here. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the video notes as well. So click on that link. Um, that's going to give you the 10 secrets to becoming a six figure data scientist. It's a free masterclass that I provide. It literally gives you the 10 skills that I wish I knew before or when I was becoming a data scientist. It would have literally cut my time to become a data scientist in half and it would have given me the path to get there so much faster. So I want to give that to you guys today. Uh, check that out in the video notes, click the link, and I will see you on the other side in the workshop. All right. Until then, see you later.